Hello there. This is Music Man 0150, also known as Gary. And yes, I'm back with more videos here on YouTube. And I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering where I've been. Well, for the most part, I've been pretty busy and, you know, with teaching and performing and doing all kinds of projects for my GWL production business. So I really haven't had a chance to make more videos, but I have some spare time today. So I thought I'd sh catch you up on a little bit of things that have been transpiring in the technical aspects. And what I'd like to show you now is using a couple of my TVs, I'd like to show you where we are now with the digital TV transition. If you've been following my videos on that, the last video that I had made, we were down to two channels and then one channel left. Well, we are now down to zero channels on analog. And that's, that's without my little in-house setup, of course. So what I've done is I've shut off all of my little in-house TV senders to show you exactly what it looks like with nothing as far as analog TV is concerned if you were trying to reach a channel. So we're going to use this TV first, this little RCA, and you've probably seen this one with the uh, digital transition. So I thought we would start with this one and we'll start with the VHF and as you can see there's nothing there totally 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 dead so that's VHF and now for the UHF I start on 14 I'm going all the way through. And I'm already up to channel 69. And if you notice, not one single analog channel is on the air. That's it. And that's the way it's going to remain. TV is now digital. So, there's proof on that TV. Now you're probably thinking, well, is the TV broken? No, it's not broken. Because I'll prove it to you in just a few seconds here. We'll, we'll demonstrate on another TV just to prove it to you. We're using the General Electric TV now. And we'll just go through the UHF because that's where most of the channels were still existent. And I'm already now up to 83 and you saw nothing appear. back to 14 and there's nothing there either and just to show you on the VHF yeah it looks like the TV went off but it didn't it's just the the way the VHF tuner works on this the the snow actually dies down when there's no channel on VHF but it snows pretty bright on UHF I think this tuners needs cleaned or something because it's a little shaky. So there you have it. Now what I'm gonna do is turn on these little senders that I have. We're gonna put these three on. Oh these are already on and they're unplugged. That's right I forgot I unplugged those. Alright well then let's take a walk. 
and I got two more senders down here in the shop and we'll put we'll put both of these on here's one here put that one on and we'll put that one on those are channels 29 and 16 so now we'll go back to the TVs and we'll first show you on this TV well maybe we'll get something huh wait a minute let's see let's see where we are here okay and I think now we're on UHF there we are see that's the only way now that I can run these TVs over the air is with the little senders I have. That's 16. And then there's 29. So without those, as you saw, there's nothing. So that's on that TV and I'll show you on this TV again. Let me switch hands here so that you can see the results better. Okay, there's 29 and 16 because those are the only two I have turned on but I can turn on the rest of them and it would look like uh, full analog broadcast again now as you recall from the videos from before you know these little senders only work in the house so if I were to go outside then I would get nothing absolutely nothing on uh, TV because it's all digital now you'd have to get a digital TV but that's the update on the TV transition so that actually now completes the video series of the digital TV transition so I hope you enjoyed that and just to you know just to see you know where we were progressing here in the Youngstown Warren area and it's now official and in case you're wondering when channel 62 went off the air it went off last Saturday March 19th in the morning because I think I remember last Friday uh, 62 was still on but Saturday morning it went off the air for the final time so that ended the analog television in Youngstown and Warren so there you have it so that'll conclude this video and I'll be back with more thanks for watching